The government of the Republic of Zambia on Tuesday, 5th September 2023, reinstated Vedanta Resources Limited to run Konkola Copper Mines after protracted negotiations. I'm here to announce that we have finalized the negotiations with Vedanta. Vedanta will return to run and the resuscitate operations of KCM as a majority shareholders alongside KC, ZCCM IH. The, the Vedanta under UPND is going to be different. We are very positive about that. This comes after ties between Zambia and Vedanta owned by billionaire Anu Agawo, which soured two years ago after former President Edgar Lungu's government orchestrated the seizure of the KCM assets and forced liquidation in May 2019, accusing the Indian company of failing to meet plans to invest in increasing mining output. However, yesterday ZCCMIH reinstated Vedanta, which agreed to, among other conditions, invest $1 billion in KCM development, payment of $250 million to all local creditors, and investment of $20 million into local communities through corporate social responsibility. This move by government to incorporate the Indian investor has rather not sat well with the opposition patriotic front leadership who have accused the UPND government of having a hidden agenda. What are they in their negotiation? What have they said? Will they pay that? They wanted a waiver. They wanted a waiver. They want the debts of KCM not to be on Vedanta but to be on KCM books. That is not fair to our people. So transparency to this matter is extremely key. And acting PF leader Brian Mundubile and the former ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba have charged that the move is retrogressive, alleging that Vedanta Resources Limited has been running on high losses and huge debt, and highly doubt it would serve the people of Zambia. A month ago, Vedanta put his demands on the table. There are some exemptions he wanted. He wanted a special tariff for electricity, for instance, some tax exemptions. Now, you see, when you are uh, transacting with public assets, Government should have been more transparent so that we follow the events as they flow. As it is right now, it's a covered, it's a veiled transaction between you and I, because for us as your members of parliament and indeed opposition leaders, we have an extra eye. Our suspicion is that based on how President Daka and the HLM was treated by the communities in Mandevu and all these other places, they may have considered, they may have considered to Vedanta's demands. There's been no disclosure mm. as to what exactly, mm. uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what was the deal breaker. Namwinga Mwinga, for Movie TV News in Lusaka.